If you wanna decorate your home for fall on a budget, you're gonna love these dollar store DIY ideas. Hey there, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. I was inspired once again to DIY some decor that I saw online at Target. We don't have that here in Canada, but we do have the Dollarama where everything is two, three, four dollars. So I'm gonna show you how to DIY some beautiful fall decor with items from the dollar store. Let's get started. For this first one, we are going to grab this cozy looking flannel scarf. I love the colors in this one, and if you watched one of my previous videos about fall decor trends for this year, you're gonna know that warm tones like brown are trending this year. So if you like those colors, you're gonna love this DIY. Take the scarf, and then find a pillow insert pre-made that already is about the same height as the scarf. I had this one on hand, it's from Urban Barn. I think it's about eight inches by 16 inches. Then cut the scarf to be about the same width as the pillow form, making sure that that fringe is kind of left on one side. And then repeat that, cut another side of the scarf with the other fringe to the length of the pillow form. Now you can either sew or do a no sew method for this pillow cover that we're making. So if you're gonna sew it, grab your sewing machine. If you're doing a no sew method, you could use either a hot glue gun with glue sticks inside made specifically for fabric, or you can use fabric glue, or you can use some iron-on seam binding. Any of those things will work. I like to use my sewing machine for pillows because it's a great beginner sewing project, and these are all just straight seams. Now place the two scarf pieces right side together and fold those fringe sides in about a half an inch. Those are going to become the little fringes on the edge of the pillow. Now pin everything together and sew a half inch seam all the way around this pillow cover or use your hot glue gun or your other no sew method. You wanna make sure that you're going to leave about a six inch hole on the bottom of this pillow so that you can turn it right side out at the very end. Make sure that your fringe edges are tucked in as you're sewing along. So when you flip this right side out, the fringes are showing. Now you just have to stuff your pillow form inside. Use a needle and thread and sew that hole shut and you have the coziest looking fall pillow made with a Dollarama scarf. So cute, so simple. Reminds me a lot of the plaid scarves you'd see somewhere at Target, even higher end stores like McGee & Co. And it's the perfect accent to add a little bit of warmth to your fall decor this season. For this DIY, we are going to grab a baking sheet from the baking section at Dollarama. We're going to grab this metallic basket. You can use some pliers to remove the handles off the basket. It's a little bit tricky. You kind of got to use a little bit of muf muscle to remove these from the basket. And then you're going to put them onto the baking sheet. So basically you just uncrimp those handles with pliers and then recrimp them onto both sides of the baking sheet. They actually fit perfectly and there's a little bit of a rim on the baking sheet so that the handles don't fall off. We're going to turn this baking sheet and these handles into a nice fall tray that we can use to display some of our fall decor. Once the handles are on, take that outside or to a well ventilated area, use a copper spray paint. So I'm using this beautiful aged copper one and spray paint the whole thing. You're gonna need at least two coats per side. Make sure to do a couple or three nice thin coats rather than thick coats to get a nice even look. Now that everything is spray painted, you have this beautiful rose gold or copper tray. You can use this to display your fall decor on your sideboard, in the middle of your table, on your coffee table, on a mantle. I love being able to group objects together to make my decor look more high end. So let's make some decor to go on top of this tray. I saw these were tan braided pumpkins on the Target website. I thought we could recreate them with Dollarama finds. So let's pick up a couple of these jute rope packs we're going to grab a couple of these large styrofoam balls. And I also really liked these little mini stumps. 
at Dollarama too. The first thing you want to do is trim the top and bottom of the styrofoam balls to get more of a pumpkin shape. Believe me, if you don't trim them, your pumpkin is going to look like an apple, which isn't bad for fall decor, but if you want the pumpkin look, trim the top, trim the bottom. I'm just using a utility knife, but you could use a craft knife or even a serrated knife would work for this. After you're done trimming, I've tried a few different methods and the way that worked best for me is take the jute rope, a hot glue gun, and start coiling the jute rope from the top of that pumpkin shape around the sides to the bottom. You can leave the bottom uncovered with a jute rope. We're spiraling it around the pumpkin shape this way rather than up and down, which was what I tried at first. Did not work for me. So we're spiraling it around the styrofoam ball this way and you can kind of tack it down with hot glue every now and then. Once the pumpkin shape is completely covered in the jute rope, you can leave it like this and just pop on a stem, which is gonna be one of these small little wooden stumps. Use glue, pop it on, you're all done. Or you can add some vertical strips to make it look even more like a pumpkin. So now just cut some jute rope that's about the same size as the top center of the pumpkin to the bottom, attach that with glue, put about six of them all around the pumpkin, and then attach the little stem at the end. I like both of these. Let me know which is your preference down in those comments below. I'm putting them on the DIY tray that I made. And I also made this really cute little pumpkin a few years ago with another Dollar Tree pumpkin. I just painted some white chalk paint on it, added a faux flower, and I think it's the perfect touch to make this little trio of pumpkins for the side of my side table. Dollarama actually has some very beautiful faux greenery every now and then, and I specifically love this burgundy or this deep red colored faux eucalyptus that they have right now. This sort of plum color, the deep reds, are definitely trending for fall this year. This is a very inexpensive way to add it into your home decor for the season. I'm going to pick up five of these red faux eucalyptus stems. You could use these for a DIY wreath. You could use them as is in a vase in the middle of your table. I'm gonna make a garland with them. Making a garland is really easy with faux greenery. So what you wanna do is just layer these stems one on top of the other, put about three to four inches of layering between the first stem and the second. You can use some floral wire, you can use, even use some jute twine from the dollar store and just tie them together, wrap them around together. You want to attach them together near the top of the join and near the bottom so you get a nice solid garland. So with five of these, my garland is about five feet long, which is fantastic. I'm gonna use it on the side of my side table in my dining room. I wanna use it asymmetrically, so all of my stems are pointing the same way. However, if you wanna make a symmetrical garland, which means it's looking the same on both sides, you wanna drape it over your mantle on both sides, switch the direction of the faux stem right in the middle so you have some draping to the right and some draping to the left. Now that my garland is all done, I'm placing it on the buffet table in my dining room. I want it to be asymmetrical, just draping it off on one side. And another tip to make faux greenery look a lot better is to make sure to bend all the individual stems sort of in an accordion style back and forth. That's gonna give your garland lots more movement and make it look so much better. These tiny casserole dishes at Dollarama were so cute. They're heat resistant. I love the fluted edges. Let's make a candle that's perfect for fall. We're gonna use this and we're gonna upcycle an old candle that I have on hand. So if you wanna melt down an old candle to create something new for a gift for your home decor, you can create your own double boiler system. Put a pot on your stove, place some water in it, set that to boil, and then inside that, put a heat resistant container. So I'm just gonna use a glass measuring cup. Next, you're gonna put your old candle inside. This one is probably five years old, haven't used it, smells like vanilla. I wanna reuse it and create this really cute candle from this tiny casserole dish from Dollarama. So you're gonna melt your candle inside of your DIY double boiler. Once it's all melted, you can carefully remove the wick and reuse that. So I am placing that with my tweezers inside of the tiny casserole dish. And then you're gonna carefully pour the melted wax around that. Then take some sort of skewer or 
a bamboo stick, wrap the wick around that so it stays in the same spot, and then just let your wax cool. Once it's set, you have this really beautiful DIY candle in this gorgeous fluted dish. I think this looks so high-end, on trend with the fluting. It's something that you would find at Magnolia, McGee & Co, but we only paid a few dollars and we upcycled something that I already had on hand. This makes such a pretty centerpiece for fall, plus it would make a really sweet gift. If you want to add some more fragrance to an old candle, you can add some essential oils before you pour that into your dish, but I love the scent as is. I couldn't not mention this amazing find at Dollarama this year. This vase is beautiful. Again, we have this on-trend fluting. We have this amber color, which is so hot for fall. Only a few dollars, almost has an iridescent look to it. So I'm just adding some faux greenery I had on hand, again in that burgundy color, putting that in the middle of my table. And I think it looks so pretty. And I love that we were able to find this on a budget. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed these Dollarama DIYs. Let me know down in those comments below which of these ideas was your favorite. I would love to know. If you like DIY and decor ideas on a budget, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you will enjoy watching next right up here.